So hi guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to export data from Arduino into an Excel sheet, specifically a CSV file. Okay, so for Windows users, after you download Cool 10, you have this zip folder on your PC. So all you need to do is to extract the folder called Cool 10 Win. Once you extract it into your desktop, then you can open that folder and then you see the exe file here so we have cool term right here so you double click on it and then it gives an uh, a warning right so we just click run anyway and then we'll have our software open here so i'm just going to leave that right here now the next thing we have to do is to open the arduino ideally so i'll just open arduino okay so once we open Arduino, I'll put Arduino on the left side and put our software on the right side. Okay, so in our Arduino, let's just write a simple code to do something. So I'm going to, let's say int minute. So this is going to specify the number of minutes spent. Okay, and then maybe let's say in sensor value, which I'll also make zero for now. Okay, so in our red setup, we just um, initialize our serial monitor. So we have serial, dot begin and our board rate is 9600 okay then we terminate with a semicolon okay so finally in our void loop what we want to do is to print the values of our minutes and our sensor value right so we just say serial dot print and then we pass our minutes to it and then close it and then we have to print a comma first so serial dot print again okay so serial dot print then um, we print a comma as a string okay and then the final thing is to also print our sensor value so another serial dot print then we print sensor value okay so what this means is that we are going to print our minutes followed by a comma and then followed by a sensor value. So the reason why we added this comma is that we want to create a CSV file and CSV files are comma separated values, right? So we separate our values with a comma. And then the next thing is actually to do serial dot print line. Okay. So this print line would then go to the next line. So when we do serial.print, this would be on one line. This would just be appended to the previous one and the sensor will also be appended. So all these three will be on one line. Then this will send our case to the next line. So the loop continues. Now, after that, all we have to do is, um, because I am not using a sensor, I'm just printing arbitrary values to show you how it works. I'm just going to increment my values, right? So I say minute plus plus. So each time minutes will be increased by one. Then uh, let's say sensor value plus is equal to seven. So uh, each time I'll increase my sensor value by seven. So if it prints zero, the next value will be seven and it will continue that way. All right, then um, because I don't want it to run fast, I'll just put a delay here. So I'll let it delay by one second. Okay, and then this word loop will keep running. So let's say this is our Arduino code. I'm just going to compile here. Okay, so I have to save it, right? So um, let's just put it on um, desktop. All right, so let's create a new folder. I think um, since it's on desktop, I'm just going to name it um, engineering calculus, right? So inch calc, then I save it right here. Okay, so it's compiling sketch. Let's see. So if there are no errors, it says done compiling. Okay, so our Arduino code is ready, right? Now I'm going to check which port my Arduino is connected to. So it's connected to COM3. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run upload my code to the arduino board okay so it says uploading right here now it's done so let's come to our software right so right here we have a couple of stuff so first we have to come to connection and then go to options 
Okay, so in our option, we have to select the port our Arduino is connected to, which is COM3. Then our board rate, so serial monitor here, I made it 9600, so our board rate is the same. So once you confirm this, then you click OK, then it's set, right? So the moment I click Connect, then it will be receiving the data from the Arduino. So you see it prints 0017214. So it increases all of them by the value specified, right? Okay, so now how do we get it into a CSV file? So what we can do is, so first I'm going to click disconnect and then clear data. Then I will come to connections right here and then click on capture to text or binary. Then I click start. So once I click start, um, I will just, so I will select the location where I want to save it, right? So I'm saving it on desktop. So um, I'll just say data for, let's say, part II. Okay, so data part II. Then it's dot .txt, right? So I'll make it all files. Then I'll add dot .csv right here and then click save. Okay, now I would click on connect and then it starts. Okay, so we have our values going. So I'm just going to wait for like, let's say three seconds. So three, two, one. Okay, so um, once we have all the data we need, you may have to run yours for an hour. After that, you can just come to connections and then go to capture to text or binary file, then you click on stop. So let's say when it reaches 45 minutes, I'll click stop. Okay, sorry, 35, now it's 36. So I've clicked stop. This will still run because the Arduino is still printing to serial monitor, but I've stopped the printing to the text file. So let's go and check our text file to see if we have the data we need. So because I made it .csv, we realize that what we have here is an Excel sheet, right? This right here. Okay, so I'm just going to double click to open it, then it opens in Excel. You see, we have our 0017 in that order. So this is how you get your data from the Arduino serial monitor into an Excel sheet, specifically a CSV file. And you see here, it ends at 36, which was when I stopped the printing to text file. So that is it. Thank you and all the best in whatever project you use this tutorial for. Have a nice day. Bye.